guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing another one of my journal entries where I'm basically just going to be reading off one of the things that I wrote when I was deep in thought or whatever I have kind of like, some people I feel like call it downloads um, and I guess that's kind of what it is, it's basically just when like a message just kind of is all of a sudden in my head. So I'm going to read it to you because I feel like it's nice for me to remind myself and also maybe it can help some of you guys. So. Yeah, let's just get straight into it. By the way, if you're new here, I post a lot of lifestyle content, so like vlogs, things like that, but also some videos doing with spirituality and self-help and self-development, things like that. So if you're interested, definitely subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you and I post every Monday, sometimes more frequently than that, but yeah. I had a realization recently that religions put an immense amount of importance on prayer and on, you know, praying somewhere like like for example, Muslims pray five times a day. My On my mom's side of the family actually, my family is Muslim, so I know that that is something that they really prioritize. And I know also with Christianity, which is actually on my dad's side of the family, I know how important prayer is just in your daily life as well as in church and just in general. Prayer has seems to be such a big common factor in almost all religions, if not all of them actually. I wrote a little bit about that and I'm just basically gonna read off what I wrote. So I wrote, Religions put an immense amount of importance on prayer. The reason being that connection to God, to source, the divine, the creator, whatever you want to call it, is so important. The impact of prayer doesn't come from repeating the same words over and over. It comes from the intention to connect with God. It comes from communicating with God. So I think that the intention of why prayer has been passed down for all these years is because we all deep in our core realize that talking to God is so important and that having connection with source and having connection with ourself and Communicating is just so important and makes literally all the difference. The importance of prayer is what you're saying and is what the intention is. So if you're going into prayer thinking like, I have to just say this because this is just what's gonna bring me to heaven, it might not be as impactful as thinking, I wanna connect with God right now. I feel weak right now and I wanna connect with God. I feel grateful right now and I wanna connect with God. I just wanna to talk to God because I wanna feel connected. Remember that the reason prayer is important is because you're connecting with God, is because you're thanking God. During meditation, we find ourselves attempting to silence the mind, but that isn't the goal at all. The goal is to focus on the breath. Allow for your thoughts to remain coming at you and rather than trying to dodge them, just see them. See them as an external voice, as chatter from your environment, because that's all the thoughts really are a product of your environment and surroundings and beliefs and situations. So what I mean by that is a lot of the times during meditation we find ourselves trying to silence our mind. We ex expect to be meditating and the goal is just like quiet, nothing, nothing's going on in there. And although yes, that does sometimes happen and that is great, it's a great feeling, but that shouldn't necessarily be the goal. I think the goal, if anything, should be a determination to set aside time to focus on an intention of connecting. So it's kind of similar to prayer. So if you're someone who's new to meditating, what I would suggest to do is when you're closing your eyes and focusing on the breath, do really slow breaths. So rather than going like, <sighs> like go. And feel it, like feel the air going into you, feel the energy flowing into you, feel it going to wherever parts of your body needs it. If you envision that energy, because although we can't see energy, energy are like thoughts, energy are like feelings or emotions, although we can't see those things, they're still there, right? So we know, for example, maybe you have a boyfriend or a family member or something and you love them and you can't see this tangible love. There's no way to actually see this love but you know that that love is there. You know that that energy is there, you feel it. And it's the exact same thing with meditating. So tune into that, tune into the energy of bringing in that energy through your breath into you and taking out the negative energy when you're breathing out. So when you're really focusing on the breath, I find it really easy to quiet the mind um, because then you're really focusing on a specific thing. When you just try to draw blank in your brain, if you're thinking to yourself, think nothing, think nothing, think nothing, like that's not gonna happen. Your brain is just gonna be like thinking about thinking nothing and why aren't you thinking nothing? And why are you thinking about this thing? And like your brain is just gonna take you for a whole thing. Just focus on the breath. Try to see your thoughts as chatter, as chatter from your environment. So what I mean by that is rather than seeing your thoughts and identifying with them, realize that your thoughts are just a product of your environment. So whether that means that you're thinking this thing because you heard it as a child, someone told it to you, it's a story you were once told, 
or because you, you heard someone else say it last week or you watched it in a movie or whatever it is, your environment has given you these thoughts. We're not born with these beliefs in us. We're not born thinking money doesn't come to me easily or we're not born thinking like I'm gonna get sick. Like we're not born with these thoughts. We're born with just pure love and our environment starts to create these realities for us. And I believe that on our journey, it's our job to remind ourselves what our purpose is. Not fight through this society and like external world, but to learn the lessons from it and to make it a positive thing rather than a negative thing. So try not to see your thoughts as enemies or as things that are really identifying with you. You can choose what you want to follow and what you don't want to follow. And I know that's so like, eh, like obviously, especially for someone with anxiety, like I get how annoying that sounds because I know what it's like to get caught up in your thoughts. But when you're meditating, I think because it's so intentional, you can really focus on it. You can really focus on, as I said before, the breath. So don't worry if you can't stop thinking. Meditation is like a muscle. It's determination that will get you to those few moments every once in a while of bliss. And in that space is you, infinite you, your higher self, pure love, consciousness, God, whatever you want to call it. So what I mean by that is just because you meditate every day doesn't mean you're going to have those few moments of bliss and quiet every single day. You might be meditating for months on end and have three seconds of that pure bliss. So don't give up. It's not like you go to the gym and think working out once is going to make a huge difference. It's a long-term thing. It's a dedication that you're making to yourself. It's you realizing how important this thing is and choosing to do it because you want the best for yourself. So if you are someone who does see the value in meditation, I find it a lot easier to meditate. If you're someone who doesn't really see the value in meditation, I think it's a lot harder to meditate because then it's like, why am I sitting here in silence doing nothing? When you realize it's an, a long-term goal, then it just helps a lot. Another thing with meditation is I feel like there's a lot of pressure now with the whole self-love thing. I've talked about this so many times now, I feel like on my channel, but there's so much pressure to be perfect and to be constantly evolving and improving ourselves. And although that is great, nobody's perfect. Like these spirituality people that you're watching, they don't meditate perfectly every single day for like years on end. They have those days where they fall through or slip through, you know what I mean? We're human, that's the whole point of it. You learn the lessons of it and you improve with it. Those are literally, those pits are, the changes. Anyways, my point is don't be so hard on yourself if you find that you can't meditate every day or you're getting frustrated with it. Give yourself grace. Realize you're doing this for you, not for anybody else, and do it when it feels right. That's the end of my little spiel. If you guys are liking these videos, I really like doing them. And um, if you have any thoughts that you want to share with me, please, please do. Um, I want to leave a few creators on YouTube that I would recommend watching if you enjoy these videos because I know a lot of you guys are probably not super into like the spirituality side of YouTube. You're more so on like maybe the vlog side. So I wanna mention a few YouTubers that way you guys can go and follow them maybe and kind of see where I get my inspiration for these sit down chats and also see their thoughts and their experiences and things like that because you know, yeah. So the ones I would mention are Heinz, Lynette Adkins, and Lior Alexandra. So those would be like the ones that I would say to take a look at if you're into spirituality or you're into like meditation or anything like that. They just seem like good people, you know? Anyways, so I hope you have a great day. I hope that you meditate today or tomorrow or sometime this week. And subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check out my Instagram, my Poshmark, my business, all that stuff. I'll link it down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.